Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to the opening breakfast show here on Mars Radio. On today's programme we've got the news, we've got lots of bass and lots of shenanigans. But first, before the news at 9am, we want to play you a song. Seen as uh, it's April right now and we've got lots of rain outside. This is April Showers by Protila. Let's start the vlog. So guys, I always get really excited when Superfly invite me down to listen to some of the stuff that I'm going to get in the cinema room in the new house. And as I said guys, they're demonstrating some subwoofers today for me. What are you doing now? Right, what's the crack then? Well, I wanted to show you, uh, obviously there's 10 grand set up that I told you So about. this is about 10 grand's worth of kit, yeah? 10 grand. Yeah. But, I know you were apprehensive about the sub. Yes. So what I wanted to show you was the sub yeah. with a 10,000 pound system. So this is the sub I'm going to get this in it. my... It in my cinema room. So guys, I was a little bit apprehensive about the subwoofer because I've shown you guys the actual surround sound system that we're going to put in the cinema room in the new house. It's the whole Kev set up, it's going to be bomb. But you guys know I like bass, I'm a bass head and I love bass. And uh, I wanted a demonstration of the subwoofer that I'm getting. So this is, this is it, but first off, Let's go through what's making this subwoofer make the noise. So without the subwoofer, it's about 10,000, is that right? 10,000 pounds worth of kit here? Yeah. So we've got this. This is a musical fidelity setup. This is the M6 CD player right here. That's going straight in to this, which is the amplifier, which feeds these monitor audio speakers. You see what a 1,000 pound subwoofer sounds like. This is a subwoofer I'm getting worth about one grand. Sounds like with like a 10,000 pound speaker system. Cause it should probably hold its own, shouldn't it? And guys, we've got some dubstep to listen to because well, I love dubstep and we want <laughs> bass. So uh, crank it boy, let's do it. I love this song. Okay, those speakers are amazing. Just gonna wait for the chorus because uh, that's where the bass is. I love it. And guys, even when it's not even that loud, you can still hear it tapping away. Oh, I love it. Oh, wait, are we getting two of these as well? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Mate, I don't think these guys quite understand, do they? They don't understand how good it's going to be. It's going to be incredible. I think they're underestimating it. They think we're just messing about. I just can't wait to get in there. Look, it's just on low and it's just humming away. So guys, this is Turn It Around by Subfocus, one of my favourite all-time tunes. Headphone users, please beware. It's good. It's very, very good. That's immense. Love it, love it! So we've noticed that the plan, we're gonna do the cinema room in the garage and what we're gonna do for the screen is paint one of the walls with a special paint for the screen. We're gonna have a big 4K projector, hopefully, fingers crossed, if we're good, two of them subs, loads of speakers. It's gonna be mental. Bro, thanks for that demo, I really appreciate that. You've sold me on the sub, we're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> Okay guys, so that sub was absolutely awesome. Just cannot now wait to get the keys on the 27th. As you guys know, we're all buzzing together. Tech Flow now though, in the office with Jed. Say hey Jed. Hello. We are doing a Tech Flow video this morning on the simple solution to getting better Wi-Fi, which is I think a thing that everybody wants. And I also bought this red leather case for my iPhone X, which, wow, wow, wow. We need to get to work. time we address the elephant in the room. 
Well, the elephant in the room being the baby elephants of the big room. What I'm trying to say, guys, is uh, I sorted this room out the other day. Because you guys know I'm working on something for the main channel. A massive, massive, massive video about my setup. It's going to be my 2018 setup video. Going back to my roots, guys, on the main channel. I've got all the shots of the desk, but this just isn't the setup, is it? There's, there's the, all the stuff that goes on behind it. All the computer is in, in here. So I tidied all of this room up, guys, in my spare time. As you can see, we've got the Apple TV there. We've got a whole plethora of alcohol here. We've got my amplifier. We've got all the cable trunking. All up here, guys, we've got my Synology NAS. We've got the Sonos for the speakers in the bathroom. We've got my Ethernet switch. We've got the Philips Hue bridge. Everything is so tidy in here, whether it looks like it or not, right? We've got the drone up there. Going back to my original analogy, though, I missed out the baby sister, the little elephant. This rumor, uh, yeah, dirty montage time. <laughs> guys can clearly very easily see this room uh, yeah this is like my camera room sort of like my little den where all my gear sits and it's easy for me because I can just pick up the cameras that I need everything is here but it just could do with a little bit of organization my camera or oh. my camera room this room it needs a sort out and I clean that one. Oh, that's why it needs a sort out I cleaned that room off camera and made it look awesome But I think it's about time guys. I did my ultimate ultimate storage cupboard setup or something along those lines And then I've also bought some awesome little lights to put under these shelves to make it look absolutely awesome Let's do this <laughs> So guys, I'm going to tackle this one by one to show you exactly what we're going for. So this is my main camera shelf right now. And all of this stuff, yes, all of this stuff was just on this shelf. So as you can see, I've got this foam here. This is this is like just foam you can buy on eBay. This is actually from a, a company called Shadow Foam. But you can just get this foam and with a sharp knife, you can cut it out and make these sorts of stencils. So things like the cameras and stuff, so just fit into these little holes like that already, which is gonna make this thing look so easy and like I've done nothing. But years ago, guys, I cut out these holes and I just neglected them, so I need to put all the cameras back in these little holes. All of this stuff here is mainly GoPro stuff. Now, I've got all of this GoPro case things here. These are all like GoPro cases and I just fill them with the GoPro mounts because you can see the GoPro mounts just sort of go everywhere. So what I'm going to try and do is ration out all this GoPro stuff, all these mounts between these three cases and then uh, what I'm going to do is just use this UK Pro case as the main case. So this should have one of everything in it. <laughs> Finished. This room looks a damn sight better than it did when we first started. This is the GoPro section of the camera cupboard. As you can see, GoPro 5, GoPro 4. Time-lapse things here. So this is really, really cool. You essentially just twist this and it sets your GoPro on a rotating time-lapse. This side we have all things cameras. So underneath this microphone is the only thing I cheated on. Right there, I'm actually going to do a big cutout here for the A7R. So for now, guys, I'm just going to sit that little microphone there. But we have my three lenses here, my 16 to 35 my 10 to 18 and then my 28 mil and then I've got a spare battery I've got all of my memory cards here and then a little lav mic some Polaroids for the lenses I've also got a lens adapter that's Sony to Canon flash a light to gorilla pods and then the star of the show I've got the Sony a7s and then the a6500 just there then I've got a load of tripods here my road mic which I actually used at the start of this video to do something funny I think and then I've got a load of cables down here I've just tidied them up here my old printer and just under there my old Asus monitor for when my friends come round and we want to play some games out on the desk together and then on here just a few odd boxes a box there for my tag watch I spent I spent quite a lot of money on a watch a while back and that's the box for that I've got the hawk from EE, one of my favourite budget phones. I've got a Nokia 8. These are pretty much all brand new in the box. I've got an Asus Zen pad there, which I've used. And then I've also got a couple of iPads in there. And uh, don't really like iPads, so they just sat there chilling at the moment. And then uh, that's it. That's literally it. But wait, is it? 
So that should go like that. And then this one, guys, goes like that. So now, guys, if I turn off the lights on the motion sensor, as you can see, in each of these now, there's two little lights. Oh, that is actually sick. Guys, that is actually awesome. So if you check this out, guys, as soon as you come in and try to go and get something, on comes the light, same this side, boom, everything lights up, motion sensored up. Oh, that is absolutely sick. And on top of that, guys, the main thing, all the equipment is all nice and organized. Now that, guys, took me about an hour to do, and the reason I know it took me an hour to do is because I looked on my Mars bar clock, I started doing it at nine, and now it's ten. Yes, guys, I found one of you guys made me this and gave me it at Insomnia. Really cool, really thoughtful. But guys, just think about it. That took me an hour. Imagine what I'm going to do with my new camera room in the new house, which we're gonna get on the 27th. I will literally hold the keys to a house on the 27th. But with that being said, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this little bit of a hack DIY thing with me today. Really enjoyed putting that together with you guys. Just keeping your equipment all nice and organized is, uh, well, it's key. One of the famous quotes is a really, really famous quote, this from a TV show called The Mighty Boosh. And it goes, organized stationery is the backbone to any good business. And it's, it's so true. You don't think about it, but it really is. If you've made something where all your equipment is, especially if it lights up like this, I know where my memory cards are, I know where my lenses are, I know where the batteries are, I know where the cameras are, I know where the GoPros are. You guys get the gist, whatever your hobby may be, keep everything in check. Guys, but with that being said, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome, guys stay awesome, keep smiling, and you know what? I will see you in tomorrow's daily vlog. Guys, adios.